Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so this is not a takeoff or anything like that. Now, this is something that I have been asked to explain now at least a couple times because a few people did not fully understand it or how the asteroid system works. Now, I'm not sure if this applies to all the other planets and what have you, but as far as how the tracking system works and everything else. So, but basically, right now you can see that we are tracking a couple of asteroids right now. And you can, I, as far as I know, track as many as you want. I'm not sure if there's a specific limit you can only reach. But as far as I know, it's something about that. I, I'm not really sure. But you can see we're, we have a... Class E here, and I think I'm tracking another one here. Yeah, it, this is a Class D. So, what you'll notice uh, with most ships, like this is one of my far-orbiting uh, satellites, you'll see that it basically has the exact same buttons that it's always had since the start, except for the, uh, what is this, the recover button, which we can't really do considering it's floating in the middle of space. But yeah, so you'll see that we have another asteroid here, and you'll see that this button actually changes over to a satellite dish. And what that basically states is to track it. So if we were to click on another one, you'll see that it's open to be tracked, and that's only the ones with a question mark above it. And for this current version of the game, I should also mention, so what we want to do, seeing how it is that we don't really need to track this anymore since it's on its way out of the system, we're just going to stop tracking this. We don't really need to know anything about it, but the information will still stay since we did track it. But you'll see that we have another one here, which is on its way in a very short period of time, about 30 days. So that that's pretty soon. And... So I've decided that, you know, you guys really wanted a Class E, and I was leaning more towards, like, Class A in the initial video, or, well, my last video. So what I'm going to go with is a Class D, and I know it's not a Class E, but what I kind of have an idea of is we'll have a larger asteroid and then a smaller one and then maybe another larger one or maybe we could opt for even a smaller one because i kind of want to just get a grip on how this asteroid system works just a lot of just everything i just want to make sure that i understand how everything works how it's all, all going to play out so I'm, I'm thinking that this is going to be the best bet and we should stick with that. I hope nobody's disappointed, because I'm not. But the other thing is, too, is we have our Class E here. There's actually a couple of them. I believe there was another one somewhere I was looking at. Is this... Oh, no, this is the one that we were just looking at. Uh, that's a C, and that's another C. So, we'll, I think... What we could do here is we could also track this one, which happens to be arriving in 69 days. So about 30 days after this guy comes in, another one will come in, which I figure we can get this first one, the D, and then we can set up our asteroid base once again with another connection point, maybe possibly if there's time, send out another HAB module or two, and a few people wanted to separate them into mining and other things, but yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about this stuff later. Um, so I'll see you guys once we get into orbit. I'm just going to launch and all that other good stuff, so I'll see you then. And we're back, guys. So everything's looking pretty good. I got us into orbit. I did make a few changes to our ship, as you guys might notice. I added on some extras, which these will help with stabilization, hopefully. And we got a little bit of a bigger fuel tank. I did have to use some of the fuel, but that's definitely more than enough to get us where we needed to be. And it looks like our orbit is not really 100% spot on, but I can fix that once again, hopefully. I, I know that there probably is a lot of variables I'm leaving out. 
and I'm probably definitely not doing this the most efficient way, which I do have to state I am not an expert player. There are a lot of people out there that definitely know a lot more or and or use a lot more of mods and certain things to help out with, which if you're one of those kind of players who really, really cares about getting the most uh, the amo most amount of Delta V for your buck and you really care about that kind of stuff, then please, you know, once again, uh, if you want to follow this as a guideline, go ahead. I can't tell you how accurate it's going to be or if it's actually going to give you the exact uh, amount or, you know, in the ballpark amount of delta v you're looking for to you know or looking to spend or use in order to get to an asteroid so they, that, that's definitely one of the major things i really gotta mention so i i just got back from vacation i have took at least just a few days just to relax and kind of you know sit back and smell the coffee and just kind of get an overall good point of view on everything and just kind of see what was going on with the channel over the last couple days a lot more new subscribers which is always amazing so I've been pretty happy about that and it looks like we're about to hit our node yes a lot of new subscribers a lot of new people uh, I got to meet a uh, good portion of my family over the weekend so I was very very happy about that it's been a while to see a good portion of my family it's been at least a few years so I definitely got to do some fun stuff with them and it, overall it was pretty good um, nothing really I could complain about nothing really that insane happened and I enjoyed my stay at the hotel which I gotta say, um, anyone ever staying in the Crown Plaza did definitely good stuff. Um, amazing. Really, really great hotel. So I, I stayed there, enjoyed that, and um, overall, just pretty fun. Uh, wedding went, went off pretty well. It looks like we just lost our fuel. I think we'll be able to finish the rest of the burn on this. I don't want to push it too much. If we have to extend the burn over to yet another uh, orbit, that isn't going to be much of a big deal. I think we're going to wait just as it is. That, that, that seems like the most logical option. So let's just get this lined up one more time. But yeah, that, it was definitely just a really great time that, that that's all I do have to say about that I uh, got to introduce well actually talk about my YouTube channel and stuff like that I felt a little awkward talking about it considering uh, you know I'm not really that big yet or you know popular in the community or on YouTube or anything like that but it, it just seemed a little awkward to talk about it, but at the same time, I am proud of it, and I, I am very happy that I have a fairly decently sized community now of people that watch, and that was kind of the fun part, is to talk about it and say, oh yeah, I have 1,200, or not 1,200, uh, uh, you know, 2,100 subscribers or so, and, you know, everything's been just amazing and it's so many cool new people and all kinds of just absolutely fun and amazing stuff that that's pretty much what it comes down to and just talking about how you guys are amazingly awesome so let's see we still have about 30 days left on this asteroid which I am going to probably speed up most of that until we actually get on our approach and I hopefully don't have to use just an absolute obscene amount of fuel in order to get to said asteroid. So anyways, um, this is a little bit, you know, I, I was mentioning that before, but this is some of the stuff involved. For those of you who have at least gone to Minmus or to another planet, it should be fairly routine and, you know, figuring out 
this kind of stuff. I mean, even docking, as long as you understand the concepts of docking and how to do it and most of the stuff behind docking and just joining two spacecraft, the fundamentals of that are basically the same as meeting up with an asteroid. So, anyways guys, I'll see you once we are getting fairly close to our asteroid.
right, and we've reached our target. Now, everything didn't work out exactly the way I wanted it to. Uh, we are going to have to start our burn here very shortly, and I'm really hoping we can actually capture this thing because that would not be fun to waste all this time to really not be able to capture it or do anything with it. Now, I'm going to probably... Oh, God. Um, come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. We, got we are attached. Now, I'll target the center of mass and see if we can get... Oh, God. No, yeah, we got a free pivot. There we go. Free pivot. And see if we can lock ourselves on to the center of mass. Which probably shouldn't be too hard. Um... Oh, God. There we go. Um, that's probably not going to help much. Yeah, that, that really isn't helping with the... With that in the way, um, come on, come on, there we go. I just want to get it as perfectly centered as possible. Right now, I think what we are going to do is start slowing this guy down dramatically to see if we can capture it. The orbit is pretty good. We are going to have to change a lot of things, though, uh, just to get this thing lined up and to get it into a fairly decent orbit this isn't really working out the best way I wanted it to um, mostly because of the fact that we weren't able to attach any of these things I, I just decided not to at the last minute just to slow us down so we can at, at least achieve an orbit first that is kind of the main thing and then I will worry about all the other value variables afterwards so it's looking pretty good guys but, you know, I, I really don't know what we'll be able to get with this. We have a lot of fuel to burn. And, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys once we achieve at least an orbit. And we're back guys this is looking pretty good I am very happy we were at least able to get into an orbit which isn't bad but uh, that isn't really that good either we're, we have a lot of work to do to fix this so I am going to spend the rest of my time at least trying to fix this and at least get some of these guys placed where they're supposed to be so just quick save and everything's looking good that's amazing so yeah um, talked about the vacation a little bit uh, everything's going on everything's pretty good and now that I'm back let's see what we can get but anyways guys uh, if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to you new people welcome and uh, yeah I will see you next time.